Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. And this is the iCast series where I do my best to answer your questions. And if I can't answer them, I hopefully can redirect you or give you a general idea and kind of put you into a more professional light of where you can ask other people, like Google. So we're going to talk a little bit about memory today. Um, and it's one of the most confusing topics. Uh, people confuse memory with hard drive space. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, hard drive space is your physical hard drive that stores information like music, movies, videos, and things like that. That's not technically memory, okay? Memory is the chips. They're, two, they're little chips that are installed onto your motherboard that temporarily hold information while it's being processed by the processor and while it's being written and, and, and pulled and read from uh, your hard drive and all those things. So there's a lot going on there with your memory, but it's called RAM or random access memory because it's non-volatile. It drops up, it all disappears when you shut off your computer and it's stored in your permanent drive after that. So that's kind of what memory is, okay? Memory isn't hard drive space. So let's get that right out of the way. So when we talk about what's the maximum memory to Day that your computer can handle, it really depends on two separate factors. You got hardware and software limitations. Your hardware limitation is going to be your motherboard. So first you need to go to your manufacturer website, such as Dell, Google, or something like that, uh, and you can locate your motherboard's uh, maximum memory capability. Now there's a couple ways you can do this other than the manufacturer. Actually, there's, there's a great tool now that I'm talking about it. It's called Corsair Memory Finder. Google it. It's free. If you go to Corsair Memory Finder, uh, it's not .com, but just Google it. Um, you can actually select the make and model of your computer, and uh, then it'll actually show you on the right-hand side not only the speed of your memory, but it'll also show you the maximum allowable memory in your system. Now this doesn't work for all systems, so if that doesn't work, just Google your model number, like HP DV5000 max memory. You know what I mean? Just Google that, press enter, and there'll be people talking about it. I guarantee you, you'll find the information. I'll be shocked if you don't. If you have a custom-built computer that's not from a manufacturer, you got to crack open the side of your case, and by crack, I mean gently open the side of your case. You need to look at your motherboard, and you need to find, your motherboard's the big board right there at the back of your chassis, and you need to find the model number of that board, and then you got to Google that model number and max memory or that model number and specifications. And you're looking for a hardware limitation on the maximum allowable memory in that motherboard, okay? So that's your hardware limitation. After you found out your maximum uh, allowable memory but from your motherboard, then we move on to the maximum allowable memory from your operating system. Now I got some notes here for Windows users so that we can kind of get an idea of what your maximum allowable memory is. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and tell you uh, you have to first find out if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. And to do that, it's very easy. Uh, when you're on your computer desktop, just click on Start Menu. When you see My Computer, right-click right on My Computer and go to Properties. Now, there's going to be a system uh, prompt that comes up. And that system prompt is going to either be, say, let's see here, 64-bit, which means you have a 64-bit operating system, or it's going to say something else. Typically, it'll say x86. And that'll tell you whether you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit operating system. 32-bit operating systems only support up to four gigabytes of memory at any given time. Now this also includes shared video memory. So a lot of times, even if you install your memory, it doesn't all show up. So even if you install four, you can't always utilize all four. It's an important thing to remember. Now 64-bit operating systems can support quite a bit more, um, and, and I got the memory limits here, and it really depends on the 64-bit operating system you have. Now, if I don't have you on this list and you have some different operating system, just Google it. Maximum memory, 64-bit, Linux Ubuntu, or whatever. You know what I mean? That way you know. If you have Windows XP Starter Edition, 64-bit, then you have an 8-gigabyte limit on your memory. Now, 8 gigabytes is a lot of memory, but that'll be your max over the lifespan. If you have Home Basic, it's the same thing. You also have 8 gigabytes of maximum memory. If you have Windows XP Home Premium, Professional, Enterprise, or Ultimate, you have 192 gigabytes of maximum installable memory. If you have any of those versions of the operating system, then guess what? You're probably in good shape. Your limitation is going to be on your hardware side. So that's how you actually determine how much memory you need and, and what your limitations are. It's those two factors, okay? And as for purchasing new memory, you can use that Corsair Memory Finder as well because it'll actually tell you the speed and things like that. Now, I do have another video on my website about how to, how to locate and upgrade memory. You can locate that at, um, at the probably, I'll try to remember to leave a link in this video. If I forget, remind me in the comments below. 
uh, but it's just how to upgrade your memory, and I've done a few videos on them. They're part of the Faster XP, Faster Vista, and Faster 7 series. I go over at some point during the series how to upgrade your memory if necessary. So I'd always re I recommend you go through the series, actually, because you might get the speed you need without upgrading and paying money. So make sure you check that out as well. So I hope this answers your question. What's your maximum allowable memory? How much can your, your computer hold? Depends on your computer. But now you know. You can check your hardware, check your software, you'll know exactly what you can store as a maximum memory. This doesn't answer the question of whether you should upgrade memory or not, but we'll probably do that in a later video. So as, uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and uh, like this video if you liked it. And uh, don't forget to also swing by and uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Become a PCM Techie at PCMTechHelp.com. It's free, and I'll, uh, I can communicate with you that way as well. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned, guys. There's plenty more videos to come.